So, it's about 7 o'clock on Monday. Uh, I had to go for it. I had to start riding. I have not slept a wink. It's less than ideal. I mean, it's about... It is cold and is not what I call a great morning, but we're managing. I mean, the sun will even be up for at least another hour, so I'll keep status updates as I go along. I need to find a place to get breakfast at some point. So it's a few miles later. I found a McDonald's that was open, had some McSausage and some coffee, and I'm starting to feel human. So the sign says St. Augustine, 25 miles. And it would be correct because I'm staying on Route 1. But Google suggests. I switch off to A1A in about five miles, and I think the bike lane disappears on me at that point as well. We'll see. You know, so far, Google is bang 1,000. Every road I've been on has either had a wild shoulder, uh, wide shoulder or a good bike lane. And I'm guessing this is gonna keep up all the way to A1A. Well, so far, so good. We're about 25 miles in from where we left Jacksonville, and I'm currently on top of a bridge overlooking what I think is the Intercoastal Waterway. Um, unfortunately, not all news is good news. The uh, bike is refusing to shift down into low gear again. There's a bike shop in uh, St. Augustine. We'll take a look at it there. If not, I'm pretty sure I know where to adjust it myself, but it's not that big of a deal right now. All right, next, next stop should be the Atlantic Ocean. So what no one told me was that A1A was going to pretty much look the same the whole way through. And despite the map, I have yet to actually see the ocean. Atlantic Ocean. All right, time to christen a bicycle. Should be close enough. Oh, all right, let's bring it a bit closer. And here we go. And it falls just short. Oh, this is gonna end badly, I just know it. Now hopefully I don't get soaked by this. One, two, okay. The wheels have been in the Atlantic. So, up ahead is a turn in the road and while I might be wrong this is the first turn in quite a long time I think this is the lead-in to St. Augustine or we're very very close to it St. Augustine two miles Woo! oh man that's a prick Scottish Inn. Okay, here's our lodging. I need to get off the bike for a bit. So we're getting an early start today. Behind me, that intersection is the official starting point of the southern tier on the eastern terminus. Trying to get out of St. Augustine, and I see this. Road closed at railroad crossing. And this is the one road that heads in the direction I need to go. Going around this crossing is going to be a pretty massive detour. Okay, we are 20 miles in. We are at a racetrack uh, along uh, Florida 204, heading, um, heading west towards Gainesville. I don't know if I'm going to push all the way to Gainesville. That's about 60 miles in total. But there's not a lot between here or there, so my choices are like a campground in about 10 miles or push, 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 push. So we'll just take it, play it by ear. It's about seven o'clock. I've got 12 hours until the sun goes down. So fingers crossed. Goodbye, St. James County. Hello to outdoor friendly Putnam County. Anyway, my original plan was to stay here 
but it's currently 10.50 a.m. in the morning. So it's kind of a little early to stop for the day. The problem is that between here and the next uh, town is absolutely nothing. But um, I've still got another nine hours of daylight, so, and I just had a good lunch. And so, let's go for broke. Welcome. The letters turned kind of nasty on me, but we're okay. Okay. Now, on our bike trail, following Florida 101, uh, sorry, Florida 100, which is to my left. So we're about an hour past Blast City. I've been more or less biking uphill all the, the way. Finally going downhill at an appreciable speed and it is the most amazing feeling in the world. Okay, the good news is we're making progress. The bad news, the terrain is rolling hills. Well, my first real bit of trail magic just happened. So, um, I was getting pretty exhausted from those rolling hills and as we headed towards Mel Ross, I saw a sign for uh, Camp Lake Swan. So, you know, I saw a bunch of RVs parked to the side. It's like, maybe this is a unmarked campsite uh, that isn't on the ACA maps. So I pulled off, I found the office, and I talked to the proprietor, a man called Terry. And um, so it turns out this is essentially a retreat um, for those that are, you know, trying to heal and so forth. So he said that since they have no one here right now, he doesn't have a problem with me pitching a tent near the bathhouses. And uh, we had a really quite nice conversation, but it really is quite amazing because I am dead tired and I wasn't sure how I was going to do those last 25 miles. So chalk one up for trail magic and, you know, keeping faith. So now, now time to set up the uh, quarter dome tent for the first time. Okay, took a shower, got the tent set up, which is a bit smaller than I realized it would be in person, but it is supremely comfortable with this mat. <sighs> I'm feeling pretty good. All right, I will see y'all in the morning. <laughs> 